Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Gungans and Droids, the Arnold Holonet News, the only news you'll ever need. <laughs> because you have no other choice. And today, oh boy, we might kind of have like an unofficial road ahead for Galaxy Heroes. Today's news is coming from the bowels of the underworld. And I just want to put this out there. Although a lot of this looks like it's going to be true, especially in the next couple hours, we're probably going to have a kit reveal. Take what I have as a grain of salt until the developers officially confirm it on the forum, but they, the, these sources have a track record of being correct. So basically today, it looks like we have the fourth character announced for Dr. Afro's requirements announced unofficially today. And based off these leaks that we've heard from a couple weeks ago, it seems like Red 5 is actually coming around the corner here, which has kind of been on our mind for a little bit here. So where is all this news coming from today? Well. Let's get down into it. Uh, mainly SWGOH events. Now, we don't have an official Discord server for Galaxy Bureaus. SWGOH events was made by just community members in our game, and it kind of got taken in more or less as the unofficial yet kind of official Discord server for Galaxy Bureaus. So make sure you go ahead. If I'll leave a link down, but if you want to go in there, then you're going to get a lot of stuff early access in this server. Great group of people that run this here. Uh, but they showcased a new banner every time there's a new character they update the banner and it looks like we have sana staros uh is looks like it's coming around the corner so they just updated it and seeing that these people have inside information they're kind of pals of capital games since they're the unofficial yet kind of official discord server i take this as pretty much confirmed that we're going to be getting a kit reveal pretty much soon showcasing her and she's supposed to be the fourth marquee character i'll uh for dr f and i'll it, it, this is important because it's going to tie into something else. So we'll talk about Sana in a little bit here and who she is. She claimed to be Han Solo's wife at one point. Pretty funny story. And they did have a brief encounter as well with Dr. Effort and a past relationship here. But this step is going to be important because I just said, you know, it looks like based off this, we're getting Red 5. Now, today's not the first time this has been put out on the holonet or on the underground i should say that sana is coming at the fourth marquee character inside the speculation channel i don't know if these are people part of the beta program or they know people in the beta program to tell them something and they were told something yada 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 and they put it out there but a lot of recent leaks like the scythe the new territory battles and whatnot have been discussed in here weeks months before they happen and it comes to fruition so here for example we have back on just the beginning of November, so no official trace, no banner showing that Sana is gonna be coming as a requirement here. We heard that Sana's coming down the pipeline already, and it looks like today, now that we have this, it seems like that leak, that speculation turned out to be true. And these sources that also confirmed that the Scythe was coming months in advance, the territory battles months in advance, which I never covered it because I, it's always a little sketchy covering this stuff because you don't want to make a habit into it. But we're seeing a track record with the Scythe, the territory battles, some other requirements of the past. And now Sana, it seems like there's a Red 5 coming down the pipeline and it seems to kind of coordinate with what's going on out there in Galaxy the past couple months with a lot of Red 5 teases. Let's start off with this one. So Sig Sig. I believe they're the owner or cone owner, whatever it might be, for SMGOH.gg. They recently changed their name to Five Sigs and they put their name in red. Kind of funny. And again, this is this person that's kind of pals of CG. They get early access information. And maybe they might be in on the inside joke with Capital Games. And now to do a little history lesson here. Uh, this is Sana Stars. We'll go into that in a moment here. The past couple months since august we've been getting a lot of red themes august burns red september oddly enough we didn't have anything per se um in here that just it was some sort of red title but we had the hunt for red october and then we had november sky uh and then we have this right here where we got the, the datacron set five and you have the red r the red e then you have the red d so red and then they highlight five so, so far we have one, two, three, four posts that tease something with Red 5. What does that mean? That means there's probably gonna be one more teaser, another Red 5 teaser in an event calendar, whatever it might be. Maybe uh, the next, well, not probably the next set of data crowns. That's gonna be, uh, I don't know, who knows? I don't know what's going on in the inner workings over at Siege, but we've been kind of getting these speculation, these hints ever since we saw August Burns with that, a Red 5 is around the corner. So I expect there's gonna be one more Red 5 related theme and this kind of ties in with some on the street knowledge some secret imperial intel that red five 
is actually gonna be a thing here so i want to just emphasize especially the red five part take it with a grain of salt until cg actually confirms it but between all these weird teasers six had changed their name to red five times and then on these underground leaks that also have been confirming things like sauna weeks sometimes other things months in advance i can't help but i can't downplay it i have to just put it out there as much as i've been ignoring this stuff because i don't want to cover it don't make a habit out of it there's just a track record out there so if you've been someone that's wanting red five and it makes sense because what we just did a ship video yesterday right we ranked all the fleets and stuff like that and we mentioned ever since hans William falcon went over to the profundity the home one fleet i mean yeah i mean we've shown that you can with the raven's claw still kind of beat negotiate it's just not nearly as good of a fleet as it was before it makes sense that we might be getting a red five that's gonna be bolstering the home one fleet now i haven't looked too much into it. the the leaks have been saying that the red five if they are coming is designed for a home one don't know what the design intentions are but it just it seems like a very obvious gap unless they want to bolster profundity a ton and hans when falcon goes back into home one we gotta wait and see so i think we're probably gonna start seeing wedges x-wing be a bit more useful and then maybe we'll finally get a luke skywalker in a ship doesn't that blow your mind we still do not have a luke skywalker that's in the ship in galaxy series how much you want to bet if they're gonna have farm boy luke be that pilot and not a lot of people have farm boy, uh, farm boy, farm boy luke up in the run <laughs> at this point at high relic so it makes sense that we might see like a farm boy luke as a pilot down the road here so let's talk about the sauna bit because you might be like who the heck is sauna now i do understand trust me i do understand that a lot of these characters for dr f's requirements with the exception of hondo are kind of there's kind of it's it's a little unfortunate and we kind of saw this little debate especially with ahsoka tano at the tales of the jedi it seems like at least uh, i'm not a huge book lord nerd i do i have read a lot of star wars books in the past but i don't like memorize it like like the back of my hand here uh there's already a debate about it seems like the films the tv shows are like a higher standard of canon over the comic books and books even though they all should be treated equally so i i do understand the sense of in the star wars community at large that if you you probably who reads comics nowadays right not a lot of people read comics it's definitely the, the lesser media for engaging of star wars out there but nonetheless the the bt trip as well as dr afra sana they have a huge presence in the comic books and their canon as well so let's go ahead there's actually an official star wars page on this on the official website and there's also wikipedia as well i just kind of want to highlight a few things about this actually i want to hop over here first because I, I i think they do a better summary here so sana stars was a human female who lived during the time of the galactic civil war she was once a student of the university of barleth where she had a romantic relationship with uh Chelly lona afra so that's one of our connections right there later she claimed to be married to han solo he denied it I, I mean i don't know is that is that too hard to believe here and regardless they were not on good terms in the time after the battle of yavin she traveled across the galaxy in search of han from tattooing to monsu and nebula in order to confront them she was also captain of volt cobra so uh i think this is kind of funny right here uh i think it was oh was it maybe over here there is yeah right here this is hilarious <laughs> shortly after the battle of yavin leia organa and hansel found themselves on a remote unnamed planet as they hid from Imperials in orbit above. Then uh, they, there they came face to face with a smuggler who had tracked down the scoundrel for what he owed her after a job gone wrong years earlier. The no-nonsense pile introduced herself. <laughs> oh, God. Imagine the awkwardness here. The no-nonsense pilot introduced herself to the shocked Leia as Han's wife, Sana Solo. And here you go, you got a little comic book snippet here. He just lied. It's the only thing he's ever been good at. I should know, the name is Sana sana solo i'm his wife <laughs> i don't know why i find this so funny oh no why now who in the hell might you be lady oh man so i, I want to put it out there like for example i love the thrawn books they basically took the books and made it into a comic series so let's say you don't like reading books because there's no pictures and it's a lot of words i think the audiobook is fantastic uh, you know the comic books they're, they are enjoyable i do understand they're not movies and we kind of associate star wars canon with movies and video games number two and then unfortunately it seems like comic books and books are kind of like a third a third tier citizen of canon which uh, it probably shouldn't be the case and then here we go here's a little bit that we have here about dr afra and it just makes sense as well since they do have a, uh, a tie past relationship so it makes sense that the requirements here and kind of as we speculated 
this was not good. These requirements of Dr. Aphra are not going to be like Star Killer. And you guys let me know. Do you like the Star Killer model where it's four individual characters that really have no relationship to Star Killer, but they bolstered four different teams? Or do you like this where you farm the requirements and it builds the team? It's seeming like Trip, uh, Sana, as well as uh, Hondo and Tri uh, BT. I'm guessing that's going to be the new scoundrel Dr. Aphra team. But as we see here, Dr. Aphra was a rogue archaeologist with a questionable morals. She was willing to partner with anyone who could help her get what she wanted, including the Empire. When the rebel jail was infiltrated by zealots intent on killing all the prisoners, Leia, uh, Sana, and Aphra reluctantly teamed up to stop them. Sana and Aphra had a history tale. It makes me wonder if maybe Leia's gonna be like the unofficial like fifth member on this team. I mean, she doesn't have a team. I'd love to have Leia to be more involved in the game. I mean, I guess you have the Akbar Omicron, I suppose. Sana and Afra uh, had a history together. Leia quickly learned, and it was complicated. When it comes to Dr. Afra, everything is complicated. Sana's anger bubbled over Afra. Apologies for how she left things. And Sana begrudgingly let her live. In return for Afra's invaluable help with stopping the prison takeover, Leia and Sana looked the other way while the archaeologist escaped. So that's going to be your tie into Dr. Afra. And basically tied with this leak that we had a couple weeks ago talking about it. This SWH events, this are sort of updating their banner. I wouldn't be surprised and if a couple hours they were going to have the official care reveal. So stay tuned for a follow up on Arnold Howlett News. And uh, the thing that I just want to repeat myself, make sure you kind of take it with a grain of salt. Although this leak that has been calling out this stuff fairly accurately this year claims that there is a Red 5 coming uh, very soon. And we kind of get this corroboration with the, the weird Red 5 teasers from the developers and Sig Sig on SWH events Discord server. I just want to emphasize that part. I'm just gonna leave it up to you to decide if it's true or not. But there is a pattern, and I, if I'm, if I was a betting man, I would say it's probably happening very shortly here. And maybe the next road ahead, we're due for a road ahead. We had September, was it September, August road ahead or something like that? Usually every three months we get one. So probably come December after Doctor Afro, I would not be surprised if we get a road ahead and it shows that Red Five is coming. So you guys, let me know what you think. What do you deem to be true and worthy of this Imperial intelligence today? Nonetheless. I appreciate you guys coming out. It really means a lot. It's uh, exciting stuff around the corner. But I, I will be honest. I don't know. I really like the Star Killer model. I really like four amazing. I made four great teams. But I do understand you got to farm those teams still. So I don't know. It's a little different. But I guess it's good that if you're farming for the legendary, you have the legendary characters team baked in already. Catch you guys later. Stay tuned for later on today with the likely Sana Solo <laughs> kit reveal. And always remember. It's great, it's great to be in the Empire today.